Welcome to Sherelle Miracle Prayer Revival Incorporated with Revival Power, hosted by Bishop B.G. Sherell. God bless you to TV land. This is Bishop B.G. Sherell from Montgomery, Alabama, down by the way, Chicago, Illinois. I know you want to get in touch with me. You call me at 334-517-8299. But we're never too busy that we cannot pray with your life. And while we're talking about prayer, I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you touch this, your people, lift them up, encourage them, let them know, God, that it's not by might, not by power, but it's by your spirit. And Lord, we ask you, God, that you will lift your people up, God, encourage them, God, in an hour like this, God, and encourage their spirits, God, encourage their minds, God, encourage their hearts, God. Lord, let them know that you're on their side. God, you are the strength of salvation. You're the God of life. God, you said, go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And Lord, we ask you, God, you give the people of God strength today. God, that they might be able to uh, endure this journey. Uh, the Bible say in the book of uh, St. John, uh, about 3 and 17, there's no condemnation to those that are seeking after the spirit and not after the flesh. Amen. Praise God. God is trying to encourage us to not to condemn, but to encourage. We're living in a time now where people quickly want to point their finger at you. Glory. And I want you to know when you point your finger at someone, there's full point back at you. Amen. So you got to encourage, pretty. You got to learn how to learn the secret of encouraging one another, and encourage your friend, encourage your buddy. Everybody's going through struggle. Paul will talk about uh, not condemning each other. Come on, glory. In the book of Romans, come on, glory. Amen, pretty. And God is trying to encourage us, pretty, that as people of God, pretty, to reach out and have faith for one another, pretty, to strengthen your brother, because I can't make it without you. You can't make it without me. Amen. Praise God. We're all part of the chain link. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise God. And God's spirit, praise God, is trying to encourage us. Amen. Pray that to be a participant, be a, a giver. Be a giver of your strength. Pray that that's why the Bible tells me in the book of Nehemiah, pray that about 8 and 10, says, go your way, eat your fat, drink the sweet, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Glory. Amen. Praise God. I want you to know, praise God, that... We as preachers, we as people, we are, are as the people of God, praise God, are one another's strength. We are the leaders of the day, glory. Amen. Pray that my mind kind of goes back to Paul. Paul said, I knew a man about 14 years ago, whether he was in the flesh or whether he was in the spirit, come on, glory, but he was caught up to the third heaven, glory. Amen, pray that God is catching our spirits away now. Amen, trying to renew our spirit. Back in the old day, amen, praise God, they used to call the Spirit of God, I just say anything. Come on, glory. Amen, pray that, but the Spirit of God is called the Holy Spirit. It's called the anointing. Amen, pray that it's called the seven spirits of God, uh, Isaiah 11 and 2. Amen, pray that it's called, pray that, uh, my God, pray that, uh, at some point called catching away. Come on, glory. Amen. Pray that God is trying to encourage us. Amen. Pray that to know the Spirit of God. Glory. We need to know how to sell our hearts in God. Come on, glory. Amen. Pray that. I want you to know that God is not trying to get us, praise God, to figure God out. Come on, glory. Praise God. That's why he said, go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Praise God. All you got to do is walk in the joy of the Lord. Come on, glory. Walk in the power of God. Walk in the anointing of God. Walk in the petitions that you make before God. Come on, glory. Amen. And believe God. When you place a petition before God, praise God, give God a chance to work those things out for you. Come on, glory. God works in order. But I want you to know, praise God, one time they made a statement. They said, uh, one says, one person said that the reason why they go to the devil, praise God, to get things done, because the devil, praise God, moves quick. 
The reason why he moves quick because he wants to keep you. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise God. I want you to know, pray that the devil don't move quick. Praise God. My God, uh, just to bring deliverance to you. Pray that he moves quick because he's going to put you more in bondage. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise God. It looks like he moves quick. Pray that because he's messing your life up more. That's why the Bible says there's no condemnation that are in Christ. Pray that those are seeking after spiritual things and not after the flesh. Glory. We got to learn how to seek God. We got to learn how to let God be who he say he is. Come on, glory. Amen. Pray that God, praise God, cross every, he cross every T, dot every I. Amen. Pray that he cross every H. Come on, glory. My God, pray that God keeps stuff in order. Pray that, but Satan just don't care. He just throw it at you. Come on, glory. My God, praise God. Uh, that was a story one time, praise God, that in this manner, but the, the man, uh, the devil had told the man, say, why don't you just rob that bank? Come on, glory. I want you to know, praise God, and the man prayed that got it in his heart, praise God, to rob the bank. And when he robbed the bank, praise God, listen at this, praise God, the police and everything, praise God, was all around, come on, glory. Amen. In the process of him trying to get away, pray that he found out, pray that he was in capture. Come on, glory. And he cried out. He said, devil, help me. The devil said, I didn't rob that bank. Pray that you did. Come on, glory. See, that's what the devil do. He sets you up, praise God, for a fall. Come on, glory. Amen. Pray that God is trying to encourage us as a people of God. Praise God. My God, let God set you up to live. Come on, glory. Jesus said, because I live, you are going to live also, glory. Amen. Pray today I want to talk to you about praise God. Pray that following the preacher. Come on, glory. The preacher that's living the word of God. Come on, glory. Amen. Pray that Paul say, do or follow, do as the word of God say, do pray that follow me, pray that I, as I follow Christ. Come on, glory. Some say, pray that uh, do, don't do what I do, do what I say do. Come on, glory. But I want you to know, praise God, doing what you say do, praise God, is like following the devil. Come on, glory. See, you might be saying one thing and doing something else, praise God, leading folks to hell. Come on. Amen. But God is saying, praise God, he said, I give you life and life that more abundantly, praise God, if you walk right, if you do right, and you say right. Come on, glory. Back in the old day, praise God, they used to assign uh I just use the word, uh, they used to uh, shake hands on commitments. Come on, glory. Amen. When they made commitments, praise God, they shook hands on it. Why? Because that meant that things were sound, solid. Come on, glory. A person gave their word. But I want you to know that they praise God because of so much rapid and so much people pray they're trying to get rich quick, praise God. Uh, my God, pray that you, they, they shake hands all day long, pray that. And my God, still nothing happens. That's why they start, start, start signing all, uh, uh, say, contracts. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise God. Because you don't do what you say, do pray that. They're going to take you to court. Come on, glory. But when you're in Christ, praise God, if you give your word, you're supposed to mean that. Come on, glory. Amen. Pray that if you are in Christ, praise God. My God, if you tell a person that you are going to uh, do something for them, praise God. I don't care whether uh, you get caught short. Come on, pray that. You're supposed to do that. Come on, glory. My God, pray that. At certain times, pray that at one time when I was there in Chicago, I used to do what they call contract work. Come on, glory. And the process of doing contract work, praise God, I, I used to cut myself short. Come on, glory. But I told the person what I told them. And I did it just like I told him I would do it, pray that, even though I was cut short. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise God. God is trying to build us, praise God, and trying to get us to become men and women of our word. Glory. God's spirit, praise God, is trying to lift us up and encourage us to let us know that it's not by might, not by power, but it's by his spirit. God lead examples in the earth now. Amen. Praise God. It's not about a Cadillac car. It's not about a new home. Come on, glory. Pray that. It's about the life you live. Come on, pray that. That's why the Bible said, let your light so shine before men that other men might see your good works and glorify your father in heaven. Come on, glory. 
There was a time, praise God, when I uh, was driving a truck. Come on, Gloria. And people, praise God, they used to tell me, say, what, ask me, what kind of man is you? Come on, Gloria. My God, praise God. I said, I'm just myself. Praise God. I'm, I am just who I am. Come on, Gloria. My God, praise God. When I would bring their stuff to them, praise God, and on the point of delivery, pray that I said, I count your stuff before I leave here. Come on, Gloria. Because I want you to know your stuff is here. Come on, Gloria. We're not cutting you short in anything. Come on, Gloria. God's power. God's anointing, praise God, is about trying to be a relationship, praise God. Be your people in character, praise God. I want you to know they call it a man of integrity. You also can be a lady of integrity. Come on, glory. God is about principles. Come on, glory. And truth. Jesus said in St. John 14, by 6, he said, I am the way. Then he goes on to say, I am truth. Come on, glory. My God, pray that God is trying to let you understand truth is something that you can tangibly feel. Come on, glory. Truth is something, praise God, that my God, that brings about reality. Come on, glory. God is trying to bring truth, praise God, in your life so that you can have help. Amen, pray that, and help that more abundantly. Glory. Amen, praise God. In the word of the Lord, praise God, James 5, 10 and 11. He said, my brethren, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord as an example. Pretty, now, keep in mind, now, they spoke in the name of the Lord. You got a lot of prophets out there now, pretty, just speaking something. Come on, glory. But those that speak in the name of the Lord, praise God, they watch what they say. Amen. You can feel the unction of the power, pretty, when they speak. Praise God. Elijah. When he spoke, praise God, the Bible said fire came down from heaven. Come on, Gloria. My God, pray that when Moses waved his rod, praise God, the water or the ocean, praise God, my God, open up the Red Sea. Come on, Gloria. Open up. Come on, Gloria. I want you to know, praise God, when even though Jonah, praise God, start rebelling on God, praise God, uh, he still saw the power of God. God delivered him out. Uh, I said Balaam prayed, but Jonah praised God out of the belly of the whale. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise that God is trying to let you understand that God can deliver you if you allow God, praise that, and give God a life. Glory. God wants you to know, praise that. Somebody said, what's wrong with the church now? Pray that the church, praise God, is not like it used to be. It's because, simply because people are not doing what the word of God said do. Come on, glory. Amen, pray that you got to do the word. Come on, glory. Pray that you got to practice the word, praise God, in order for the word of God, praise God, to manifest itself. Come on, praise that in your life, glory. My God, praise God, if you go to a doctor and a doctor tell you, say, rub three times a day wherever, y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen, pray that. Then you got to rub three times a day, praise God, in order to get healed. Come on, glory. If the word of God tell you, praise God, uh, my God, if you wants to be manifested in the word, pray they want to be healed, delivered, prosperous. Come on, glory. You got to learn how to do what the word of God said do. I got one for you, praise God. Many of God's folk, they pray that they want to be very prosperous. They want to be rich. Come on, glory. But they won't give God nothing. Hello. I want you to know, praise God. See, God said, praise God, he'll blow on what you got. Amen. Pray and cause it to become desolate. Because why? Because you don't give nothing. Come on, glory. Nothing from nothing, leave nothing. Come on, glory. I want you to know, praise God, if you want to prosper, you got to learn how to open up your hand, how to let go. Come on, glory. Let God, praise God, prosper your life. Glory. Let God prosper your family. Praise God. God prospers your family, pray that, by the things that you do. Come on, glory. Amen. Pray that. That's what the Bible tells us, praise God. Like we have to learn how to lean on the Lord. Glory. Amen. Pray that. Learn how to lean on his word. Learn how to lean on praise God. My God, praise God on the anointing that God places in your spirit. Praise that. You got to learn how to let that thing pray that, manifest itself, praise that, in a great way. Glory. My God, pray that, let God be God to you. Glory. See, the Bible said, prove me now herewith, uh, said the Lord, and see will I. See, when you do what God's word say do, 
Then you got to sit back and my God, pray and wait and see what God's going to do. Come on, glory. If you don't do nothing, praise the ass to the point of putting God's word to a test, pray that you don't know whether God's word, pray that's going to manifest itself. Come on, glory. Pray that. But you got to do something, praise God, so God can act on glory my god see god is god without way before you ever was born come on glory my god god wants to he wants to be god to you praise god he wants to be god praise god for that to your spirit he wants to be god praise god in the elements praise god of knowing better that he can deliver you he can bless you he can encourage you but that he can carry you, praise God, to things that you never would have thought in your life would have came out of. But that if you just trust him. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Pray that we talk about prayer that following the preacher. Come on, prayer that the preacher that do what he say. Pray that in God. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise God. You know you got a lot of false preachers out here now. Come on, glory. Pray that some of them, praise God, went to school. Hello here. Pray that some of them, praise God, uh, my God, pray that they just... Uh, just took it up on the sails. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise God. But I want you to know, praise God, when God called you to preach the gospel, you are going to walk right whether you like it or no. Come on, glory. I want you to know for a little bit about my life. Praise God. My God, pretty, I want you to know, I tell folks this, pretty, I'm handpicked by God because if I had not been handpicked by God, pretty, surely the things I've gone through with, praise God, I, I would not have stood. Come on, glory. Amen. Pretty, God, praise God, is trying to build men and women of God. Come on, glory. And God builds you through integrity. Come on, glory. You need integrity. Come on, pretty. This is not uh this is not a front thing. This is a doing thing. Praise God. Paul told Timothy, praise God, that faith, that unformed faith which work it by love. Glory. See, so many folks now, praise God, are getting so cold now. Hello here until they don't want to work the gospel anymore. Come on, glory. See, they say, my God, pretty, the gospel takes too long to manifest itself. Come on, glory. That's because you don't have any patience. Come on, glory. See, the word of God, praise God, is real. And I want you to know, pretty, anything that's real, praise God, my God, just takes its time about getting things done because it's sure. Praise God. But when something is not sure, pretty, it has a zeal to it without knowledge. Glory. Amen. Praise God. And God is trying to carry the people, praise God, in the right direction. He's trying to carry the people, praise God, in a manifold direction, praise God, to bring the people into blessings. Come on, glory. For your man is blessed. Or your woman is blessed. Come on, pray that your mind is blessed. Come on, praise God. Or your spirit is blessed. Come on, glory. My God, God is trying to bless you. A man is made up out of threefold. Come on, glory. And God want to bless every part of a man. Glory. Body, soul, and mind. Glory. God wants to bless that. Come on, glory. Because that's how you manifest God. See, the Bible, praise God, Tell you, uh, walk in the light as he is in the light. Who is he? That's Jesus. Come on, glory. Jesus Christ, praise God, is the light of the world. My God, praise God. You cannot live saved except you have Jesus Christ. Come on, glory. You don't know how to live saved except you have Jesus Christ. Pretty. I know Paul talk about walking in the vocation. That's the education. Come on, glory. But uh, walk in the vocation of the Lord. Come on, glory. See, we as a God people, praise God, have to learn how to walk and live in the knowledge of God. Pretty. And you learn it, praise God, but by learning how to bite into it and stay into it and hold on. Come on, glory. Somebody wrote a song one time, praise God, uh, Oh, uh, and, they, they, and they made a poem out of it one time. To the, he said, if you can't hold on, tie a knot in it. Come on, glory. And hold on to the knot. Come on, glory. And God is trying to let us, as a people of God, manifest himself in a great and a knowledgeable way for his glory. Praise the Lord. Watch this again. My, uh, my brethren, take the, the prophets who spoken in the name of the Lord as an example. That's it. We need examples today. 
We preachers need examples. Come on, Gloria. My God, I'm first preacher to say, I need an example. Come on, Gloria. I was praying one time, and the Lord spoke to my spirit and said, Bobby, that's my first name, said, uh, you need an example. Come on, Gloria. Hallelujah. Come on, preacher. And when God put that example in front of me, praise God, a mentor, we call it. Come on, Gloria. But I watched that mentor, praise God, and hear him out of day. Come on, Gloria. Learning how to be truthful. Learning how to be man, how to manifest God, how to manifest love, pretty. And then God spoke to my heart, pretty. Said, "Whatever you do, do it in the spirit of love." Come on, Gloria, Amen. Praise God. I want you to know, pretty, that when you do stuff in the spirit of love, praise God, Amen, pretty. It encourages the other person. People can feel you. Come on, Gloria. You might pretty think that folks not. Uh, cannot feel you, praise God. Uh, it, it, they can feel you. But it's just like walking out of a cold, uh, out of, out, out, outside of a cold, cold weather from the outside, and then walking into a warm building. Come on, glory. Praise that. That building, praise God, is warm, glory. Amen. By the building being warm, praise God, uh, the person on the outside that's cold knows that the building is warm. Why? Because they, they, because they, they feel the, the, Spirit of the heat penetrating their body, glory. And that's the way God is trying to penetrate us, praise God. See, when God speaks to you, it goes through your, your mind. It goes through your spirit. It goes through your flesh. Come on, glory. God, praise God, manifests himself, praise God. And then you holler out, my God, I feel the Lord. Amen, praise God. I want you to know Jeremiah said, praise God, and I said, Jeremiah, praise God, I see her. Six said, Peter, my God, praise God, I, he was high and lifted up. And the Bible says, train fill the temple. Come on, glory. God is trying to encourage you to let you know, praise God, that God is trying to manifest himself, Peter, uh, before the almighty people, almighty God, praise God, amen, Peter, and to let the people know that he care about them, glory. You are important to the kingdom of God. You are somebody in the kingdom of God. You are God's spirit, praise God. The Bible talk about, praise God, uh, a man's spirit is the candlelight of the Lord. It searches out all the inward parts. Come on, glory. I want you to know, praise that God's spirit, praise God. My God, say yay. Amen, praise God. My God, pray that yay and nay, pray that nay if you ain't living right, yay if you're living right. Come on, glory. Amen, praise God. It's time to have God manifesting all the way in your life. Glory. The Bible says, indeed, we count them blessed who endure. I was just telling someone this morning, praise God. My God, pray that I learned how to endure through hardness. Come on, glory. I learned how to do endure hardness, praise God, as a good soldier. Praise God. My God, I want you to know that uh, 2 Corinthians 5, talk about, my God, uh, how, how that the, the power of God, praise God, causes you to suffer long, glory. Amen, praise God. Learn how, learn how to uh, suffer long, praise and endure patience. Come on, glory. When you get patience in your spirit, praise God, you don't care how long it takes. Come on, glory. Because why? Because God, praise God, has given you a good, sound report in your spirit. The Bible says you have the unction of the Holy One and you know all things. Praise God. You got a lot of folks, pray that it gets in the prophetical line. They want a word. Ain't nothing wrong with a word. Come on, glory. Amen. But, but it's better for you to have a word in you. Amen. I want you to know, brother, you got a lot of folks prophesying and prophesying. Come on, glory. Amen. Praise that. But I want you to know, praise that God is concerning the word that's in you. You get the word of God down in you. Amen. Praise God. When you get the word of God down in you, praise God. The Bible say uh, it's the Holy Ghost and fire. See, that fire of God, that anointing of God, that power of God, praise God, lets you know, praise God, when God's word has been manifested. Come on, glory. Pray that the Bible said, go your way. Eat the fat, drink the sweet, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Come on, glory. Amen. Pray that God is trying to manifest himself, praise God, to you and to your neighbor, 
Amen, Peter, and all those in the surrounding area. Come on, Gloria. God wants you to know, pray that he care about you. Praise God. In the word of God, praise God, he say, say you have heard uh, of the, the prevalence, praise God, the, uh, of Job. Amen, pray that. And seeing the end intent of the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and merciful. Amen, pray that. We need to go back to the old landmark. Come on, glory. Amen, pray that. And understand, pray that, that God wants you to learn how to endure. Amen, pray that. Let's leave the microwave day alone. Amen. Because I want you to know, pray that the rapture is coming. Amen. The rapture means praise God catching away. Amen. Look around you. Look at all the sin and all the, all the quick this and the quick that. Come on, praise God, that's around you. Amen. Praise God. And God is saying, praise God, God wants to catch your spirit up. He wants to catch your mind up, glory. He wants to heal your body. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But then as you listen to God, praise that God's spirit uh, will deliver you. Glory. The Bible, Joshua said that, praise God, uh, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Praise God. Pure anointing holy oil, healing oils of the Bible. No home or church should be without pure anointing holy oil. For more information, please contact area code 334-226-1701. That's area code 334-226-1701 for your pure anointing holy oil. with Natalie. You are about to embark upon a wonderful adventure of crafting with Natalie Woods Davis. My mission is to uplift, empower, and encourage people to design and share fun, beautiful creations using high quality DIY products with Magnolia Design Company. Come chalk mache with Natalie. Thank you for watching Revival Power with your host, Bishop B.G. Sherrell of Sherrell Miracle Prayer Revival Incorporated of Montgomery, Alabama.